Senhoras e senhores, sejam muito bem-vindos a mais um vídeo de Dead Redemption 2. Estamos aqui para mais um episódio. Se você não está assistindo a série, o link está no topo da descrição da playlist. Assim você consegue acompanhar do começo até o fim. Estamos chegando em Valentine nesse momento, porque John Morton falou que estaria aqui bebendo umas depois daquele nosso, daquele nosso golpe, né? No trem. E vambora, espero que vocês gostem. Lembrando, conta com seu comentário e seu like, tá bom? Vamos procurar o John. Ele está por aqui, mas eu estou muito precisado desse jogo. Eu não consigo parar de jogar. Ele é maravilhoso. Ele é maravilhoso. Ele é ele é maravilhoso, mano. Vocês não estão Depois eu dou uns detalhezinhos do porquê. Mas vamos já começar aqui trocando uma ideia com o John Marston. Você está bem? Como é o Scar? Eu me curo muito rápido. Lucky you. Então você está só lazando e você tem um elite. Eu tenho algo. Você vê eles? Claro. Você vê você como um shepherd agora? Talvez. Vem cá. Onde exatamente vamos? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you? She looks stupid. Come along. You'll see. The train job is a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says... That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But... No. You was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way... Well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. And that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. Oh. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. Mano, essa conversa foi extremamente emblemática, né? Tá falando sobre realmente a virada e como eles são os últimos, a última gangue e tal. Caralho, me foda. Perdeu o cavalo aqui. O John falou que vai comprar uns negócios. Eu preciso comprar gasoás depois. Que são aquelas negocinhas pra arrombar as paradas, né? Gun store. Yep. Can you uh head in, pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Don't you wear yourself out now. Oh, well, hello again. How can I help you today? Something with a side on it. Shouldn't be a problem. You want to see what we've got? It's all in the catalog here. This here? Hifley holding back. Uh, bom, vamos tentar melhorar o que a gente conseguir dele. Porque... Dá pra melhorar um pouquinho do alcance, melhorando o raiamento. Uma luneta média, eu acho que talvez ela seja suficiente pra fazer o que a gente quer. A gente pode escolher a madeira, mas não muda nada, é só visual. Revestimento, também não muda nada, é só visual. Então, é isso mesmo que a gente vai usar na arma. Um, bom, munição o jogo deve me fornecer, né? Tem uma que dá mais dano, essa aqui dá mais alcance. Eu vou comprar essa aqui de dano, então... E vamos deixar ela bonitinha, pelo menos. Vamos dar uma gravação nela aqui. Não, tá judiada, hein? No cano. É, tem pouco. Deixa eu ver. Em Thales. Ah, em Thales tudo bem, porque... Ah, da hora, velho. Vou colocar uma águia ou um lobo? O urso também é legal. Vou colocar a águia. E dar uma invernizada nela, né? Hum, assim. Mesquite. Ficou bonita a arma, gostei. Boa. Bom, por que, que o John pediu pra gente pegar uma arma? Eu não sei, né? Good? Sure. Let's go. Caralho, John Marston, qual que é o plano, irmão? Okay, boy. Hey, Mister. 
Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. Ah, I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. <laughs> you had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. Hey, that's simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl... What was her name, Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. Mano, essa conversa foi da hora. Falou um pouco mais sobre a fuga do John, o tempo que ele passou fora, a volta dele, ele falar que o Jack não é dele. Caraca, pesado, né, velho? Nossa, pesado. Bom, isso é John, John, John Morrison é muito pesada, né, de, de maneira geral. Mas, depois de todo esse processo com o Dutch, a gente sabe que ele vira um cara muito da família, né? Cara, ele quer que eu snipe o maluco com as ovelhas, é isso? Vamos curtir, vai. So I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction, all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collected on the sale. Now the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. Nossa, que isso da hora, velho. <risos> Vamos lá, de Ok. I think that's them over there. The one now. Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. Hum, ok. Looks like one of them don't scare you easy. Put another shot in close. He'll get the message. Yep, that spooked him all right. Puta, mas as ovelhas, velho. All right, let's go round them up. <risos> Caraca, sério? Puta, eu achei esse plano muito merda. Muito merda, all mano. Right, Isso chama muita atenção. Right. Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? Guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. Yeah. Vamos verinhas, vamos, 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 vamos. Caralho, desculpa verinha. Vai, 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 vai. Oh. Oh. Ovelhinha, oh, oh, ovelhinha, é assim que se fala com ovelha, não sei, me, é dessa vez, me, me, me. Ah, eu acho que nós temos todos. Vamos para a cidade. Você sabe o que? Marston, por que não você deixa as ovelhas para mim? Você vai para o Shang, fique em vigilância para qualquer problema. Eu trouxe você para isso. Será mais rápido desse jeito, confie-me. Não é o momento certo para você. To be learning how to hurt. All right, whatever you say. Ah, I said it, John. There's 
some getting away. That's it. Back to Valentine is right around that mountain. Okay. Like I said, I'll handle this. <risos> Tente manter a velocidade constante entre os animais. Alguns deles são naturalmente mais lentos e você deve igualar a velocidade para não atropelar eles. Que nem eu fiz aquela outra velhinha ali. Bom, velhinha, vocês são boas, vocês mandam, vocês andam bem. Vamos, 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 vamos. Vamos, ovelhinhas. Ai, que bonitinho, gente. As bududinhas. <risos> tá, peraí que tem um, tem um caminho ali na frente. Eu quero só ter certeza se eu vou pela... Pela direita. Ok, mais fácil. Vamos, ovelhinhas. Vamos, ovelhinhas. João, você vai atropelar as ovelhas de novo, imbecil. Agora quase fui eu que eu te e... Essa aqui tão preguiçosa. Essas estão preguiçosíssimas. Vamos, ovelhinhas, vamos, ovelhinhas. João, para de atropelar as ovelhas, mano. Meu Deus. Mano, esse plano me parece muito cagado. livestock. 25%. 15. 18. Done. Você tá mas a gente tá pagando, foi legal. Come back to the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. Yes. Bom, vendemos ovelhas que não são nossas, né? Tá vendendo. Não sabe nadar, a gente morria quando a gente tentava nadar, não morria quando tava nadar no Red Dead. Ah, <risos> que da hora. Vocês lembram? Eu acho que a gente morria de uma sensação que era bem difícil de no barco, então eu não lembro, não tenho certeza. Eu tenho a impressão muito que ele nadava, mas talvez ele não nadasse mesmo, não. Não sabe nadar, essa foi boa. Sentada, acertada no foco, eu sei que vocês estão. Gentlemen. Dutch, Nepo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, 
My good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen? Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago, bookish little Austrian. Show off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! Get out what here! What the now. hell? Vanderlyn! You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you. Get out here before I have these men killed. What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash. You start spinning a yarn. When I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. You think I more. got where I am by letting Scott not? Watch you rob from me? Vandalin, you're done! Now get out here now! Deal with this nonsense! Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Pede ver desentamente para encher o medidor, Nossa, que bocaço, moleque, que vale essa bala. Toma, moleque, rasgou tudo ali. Isso aqui, mano.
Thanks, Charles. John, ajuda, John. Até tirei a câmera aqui que eu tô tenso, mano. Desculpa, Clã. Pede pano, confio em você, garoto. Gente, onde eu coloco o Strauss? Pelo amor de Deus. Licença, Dante. Licença, licença. Meu Deus! You make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Meu Deus. So, we can't stick around after this. Let's go. <risos> Caraca, o pano tá comendo. Pera aí. Calma. Nossa, tomou um na cabeça, moleque. Caralho! Caraca, velho, esse maluco foi correndo bem louco, mano. Deixa eu pegar o pé de pano. Vamos, pé de pano, vamos, 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 vai, 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 vai. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Caraca, velho, que missão tensa do cacete. De se mover lateralmente com esse cavalo Segundo e quadrado Ah, que da hora, velho Ó, oh, ó oh. Ó oh, como ele vai <risos> Olha Ô, <risos> oh, louco, aí sim Rapaz, eu vou te falar que não foi fácil isso aqui não, velho e pior que a próxima missão pelo jeito é com o Dutch É de se mudar daqui Vamos sair fora Deixa eu marcar porque agora a gente vai focar em ali meus amigos, o negócio é esse, vamos fugir desse lugar Aqui é o lago que eu vim pescar com o menino Então quer dizer que tem uma rampa por ali, ó Ela é aquela montanha ali, não é? Não, é depois ah. Bom garoto Nossa, o pé de pano não me deixa na mão, né, velho Caraca, que cavalo foda Você tá maluco Ai Pé de pano Oh, meu Deus, tá bem? Oh, meu filho. Calma, calma, tá tudo bem. 
Você mandou muito bem, pé de pano. Você mandou muito bem, pé de pano. Tô. Come um negocinho aqui. Come. Pãozinho de aveia. Vem. Vambora. Vai devagarzinho, que aqui tem pedra. E vamos, e vamos cavalgar. Ele é muito rápido, né? Tem que tomar cuidado, cacete. Ó, aqui são aquelas árvores queimadas. Fica perto do acampamento aqui também, eu tenho certeza. A direção tá indo certinha. Talvez o Dash já tenha um plano, velho, pra gente já ir pra algum lugar, tá ligado? Esse lugar aqui é bom, eu gosto dele. É uma posição boa, mas... Caraca, velho, depois dessa situação tensíssima. We stop when we find some place sensible, shake them that's following us and lie low. This is lying low? We turned into a bunch of killers, I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Charles, come with me. We got work to do. O bagulho tá tenso, irmão. Hey, boy. Deixa eu ver, agora a gente quer ir pra Riacho Dilbury. Onde fica isso? Ah, não é tão longe, não. É pertinho. Vamos marcar o ponto. E vambora. É, amiga, a situação não ficou fácil pra gente, não. Pior que tá surgindo o pé de pano. Ah, não peguei munição. Caceta, como é que eu tô de arma? Aqui não dá pra pegar arma. So where are we going? Spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. Fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made at Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. So, we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. Months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. It goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. <laughs> you don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as running. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. I mean, this is a big country. But now, these Pinkertons, better paid bounty hunters. I ain't so sure. Maybe the price on our heads is got. Uh, hang on a second. I think that must be it up ahead, the old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. Hey, Thomas, they remember. 
Que isso, velho. He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. I'm not gonna shoot for the sake of it. Survival's for the sake of it. Quit talking. All right, Charles, let's go take a look. Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. Tá vazio. Aqui também. Maybe they heard us come. Be careful. Be careful. Where? A impressão que dá é que não tem ninguém mesmo, né? Someone's been here. Sure. Someone's still here. There ain't no one here now. Alright. Fuck Engraçado, tem que tá mandando eu investigar um ponto aqui que não tem nada. Tá aqui embaixo da carroça? Qual é que é? Ah, é, não tô entendendo não. Opa, peraí, que é isso aqui? Tem alguém debaixo da carroça? Qual é que é? Tem. Are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of They here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? It ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There. Tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. Caraca, maluco viu as marcas de pata. What do you mean? You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Hold up. Let me check this. Okay. Looks like they go down this way.
Vai na frente, querido, que eu não tô vendo nada. O que aconteceu com esses Pinkertons, de qualquer maneira? Quando você estava fechando com o Jack? Disse que eles estavam com nós. Me ofereceram a liberdade se eu tornar um Dutch. Eles escolheram o certo homem lá. Acho que esse é o certo caminho. Me dê um segundo. Caraca, o lago aqui é bom pra pescar, hein? Ó o tanto de peixe. Continues along the shore here. So what were you talking about before? We should have moved right then, if you asked me. Bastards told me they killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Ah. That kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah. But he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. If it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What sempre, is it with sempre you Harpano uh, John. He disappeared on us for a while. But Jack, wait a second, just want to look closer here. Hey. They carry on along this trail. So where was I? When Jack was real young, a long while. Year. He did. And we was family, you know. Guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. Preparado, né? Então é que eu peguei a arma errada aqui. É, não é o rifle de pagas, rolling back, escopeta pump action, é que eu quero. Kia! Hold it! Where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. This looks like our feather, okay. Charles. Quick. Yeah, Cut him free. Let's get out of here. Caraca. I see three coming this way. What the hell? You think you're doing? What the hell you drag us into this, Charles? Tá difícil de enxergar demais, velho. Caraca, velho. Para de falar, eu não entendo o que você está falando. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Here you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Bom, e o amigão a gente vai levar de volta para a família dele, né? So you were just talking about something? All right, come on. I'll take you back to your family. Hat meine Familie sie geschickt? Also soll ich mitkommen? Tira para não sozinho, porque eu tô entendendo nada. Quer dizer, eu tô entendendo, né? Mas o o o Arthur tá sem legenda. Ah, nossa, não. Pelo meio do mato mesmo. Seja muito maior. É, eu gostei do lugar também. Perto desse lago, esse lago parece ser bom pra pescar e. Lugar aberto, bom pra defender. Melhor do que o rio seco mesmo. 
Wo bringen Sie mich hin? What the hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld? Money? Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. It, how did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Look, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. <lacht> É que eu não sei se inglês. Ele mal posso falar a minha língua, mano. O cara tentando falar alemão com a gente. Tá difícil mesmo. Mas eu tô... como é que as pessoas conseguem pensar nessa língua? É verdade, né, mano? Quando a gente vê uma, uma língua que a gente imagina que a mente daquela pessoa tá funcionando. Eu lembro que eu passei muito isso na... em Paris, velho. Caraca, era muito engraçado, mano. Não entendia nada. Eu só dizia, me blu, me blu, 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 blu. Eu falava, caralho, mano, não consigo entender. Socorro. Eu tava falando inglês, a pessoa não me entendia. Era foda. Na Alemanha também a gente passa um pouquinho por isso, né? Mas lá eles falam bastante inglês. Dem Herrgott sei Dank! Ai, meu filho, para de vacilar. Schatz! Ah! Andreas! Andreas! Ich hab gedacht, du seist tot! Beinahe wärst du gewesen! Meine Lieblinge! Meine Herz! Allerliebst! Oh, wie wunderbar! Oh! Sie sind ein großer Mann! Ja! Ein großer Mann! Ja, wirklich! Es ist ein Segen, dass wir sie getroffen haben! Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Yeah, yeah, it's clear. Vamos! I have something for you. One moment. Thank you. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Yeah! Humilde, humilde, dá uma barrinha de ouro pra gente que vale mais do que dinheiro. Caralho, quanto será que você dá de dinheiro de dinheiro pra mim? You were right. Oh, this place. Oh, it'd be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are. But we are going to make the best of it. Caraca, que lugar bonito, velho. Que isso. How you doing, old friend? Um, it's funny. Us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves. You know, a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fit. É, manos. Um novo acampamento, uma nova era realmente está chegando e a resistência do Dutch, a, 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 também o fato dele manter todo mundo unido é o que faz as coisas continuarem funcionando, né? Eu gostei de segunda acampamento. Hey, old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, 
You don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good and long, old Dutch. <laughs> Always dream crushing and bubble bursting. Vamos lá, pé de pano. Behind you. Yeah, ok. Yeah. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipes some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago, but what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we have got to be discreet. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Bom, a gente vai ter que tentar evitar cometer crimes em roads, então. Pra não chamar atenção pra gangue, né? Já que criminosos estão sendo tão perseguidos. Nossa, um monte de gente presa aí. Hello, gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot to bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It is good to meet you. You a Scott? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you. I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. <laughs> Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train. Vamos, a gente vai pegar. Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Nossa, a gente tá sendo eles. We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Oh, cara, quase caindo. Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make me. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Vai, pede o pano. To hurt. Leave him. Stay with that train. What the hell are you doing? The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. What is that all about? See if you can get alongside the train. Hey, cut that out. See the flat carriage? Head 
for that. Get us as close as you can. You think you can jump on there? Now he's throwing bottles. The low combustion. I didn't do nothing. Rapaz. Caraca, já mandei o que é o laço, filho. Vem aqui, criminoso maldito. Já perdeu a faca já Já perdeu a faca Nossa, foi eu que sabe, hein, amigão Tem que pegar o membro, ok. Bring him out here. Deputy. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. What now? Take him in. Come on. Caraca, olha aí, eu sendo o homem da lei. Fine job, well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. <laughs> They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Caraca, então a gente tem algumas famílias aí, né? Os caras que controlam o, o tabaco, os outros que brigam com eles. É uma, uma situação bem, uma cidade bem difícil. A gente tá, o Dash pediu pra gente não cometer crimes aqui. Então vamos evitar. Vamos tentar ficar um pouco low profile, porque, né? O bagulho tá meio louco. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. Oh, good, they're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? I'll pick up Anders, eh? Sooner you get him off your horse, sooner we can get him in a cell. Tô tentando, querido, calma aí. 
Ó, oh, o Gray, que é o dono da fazenda, é o xerife da cidade Mr. também. We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. And Bo? These better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting. A caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses falling out rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying Arthur that's Jose you start poking around see what you can find out about that I have missed you boys I've heard about bounty well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years it'll take a month to find us down here and it seems like we can have a little sport well they're good bounties where you hear this some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles there was talk of super agents or some super agents <laughs> I'd love to meet one it's just talk I'm sure it is but I couldn't not tell you stay out of trouble thank you gentlemen Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there? Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Recusar convite. Uh, I'll need to relax someplace. Fair enough. It looks like it's you and me, old man. Eu preciso, eu preciso dar um banho no, no, no Arthur. Eu preciso trocar de roupa também, que eu tô cheio de barra. Eu tô com barra até na, na, no chapéu. A gente precisa dar um tapa. A barba também cresceu, eu preciso fazer a barba. Então, eu vou preparar tudo isso para o próximo episódio, meus queridos. Se vocês quiserem mais, não esqueça de deixar o seu like, seu comentário. E estarei em live também de Red Dead, provavelmente hoje aí, mais tarde. Mas se você ainda não segue no Facebook, o link está na descrição para a gente jogar um pouquinho de Red Dead juntos. Muito obrigado mais uma vez a todo mundo que assistiu até aqui. Um beijão para vocês, até a próxima e valeu.